Right, here we go, day two of a uh, Mick and Paul tour of Lanzarote. Today we're going to uh, get some retail therapy in Arrecife. So you may not ever see us again, just fall over the chair. Uh, you may not ever see us again because we're probably going to get lost. So uh, it's been nice. Thanks everybody. That is our steed. Toyota Corolla hybrid. Yep. A quick look round. It's a nice car, this to be honest. First time I've ever driven a hybrid. Not a lot of room in the back though, every time I get this chair all the way back. But... So there we are. So, all you do, you get in. Then the magic happens, and there you are, ready. That's all you have to do. Obviously put my seatbelt on as well. Right, let's go for a walk. So very, very quiet, Arecife. Turn the microphone on. Welcome to Arecife. We've come here on a mission. The betting shop. There's the bookies. The bookies over there. Look. That's it. Now we're just going past the dentist. Yes, yeah, you can hear them drilling. If you can hear them drilling, yeah. I think that one's a root canal, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Look up here. It says bingo, but I don't think it's bingo. You're into your football. Deportiva. And action! Yes. So, we're going to Coletta de Farma, which is the surf resort on uh, Lanzarote. It's a weird thing first time you ever go there because you see it's like um, I suppose the equivalent of going down to Cornwall, isn't it? For, of course. Yeah. And um, so it's Paul's first time ever going. I've been a few times. Yeah. We're going to have a crack at a bit of surfing. Um, probably not. Yeah. We're going to watch some uh, people surfing. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. what we want to do. Yeah, I might, I, I might surf the interweb. Yeah, so yeah, we're going to surf the interweb. <laughs> we've just been taking note as we've been driving about the amount of times this hybrid drops onto full electric mode. Yes. And um, it's, it's, I'm sort of made up with it to be honest. I, I really like it. I'm pleased I've tried one. I would probably a hybrid. I would probably think of even getting one with a cab. That view there, though, it's amazing, isn't it? Can yeah. everybody... It's lovely, isn't it? That view. Smart. So obviously that's uh, that haze is coming off the water, isn't it? That? Yeah. They were saying there's that the cleaners and that coming in, weren't they? But uh, when you look on the weather app now on Apple, and it said that the uh, air quality in Lanzarote was absolutely terrible. Yeah. But we've not found that at all, have we? No. No, we breathe quite happily. So actually, uh, well, yeah, I breathe. I've been breathing in quite a lot. That um, just goes to show you that they've invented something new to put on the uh, on your stuff to make you even more miserable than you were. So there we are, surfing. There's a real smell coming off this sea today. It's quite cloudy as well. There's loads of people here surfing.
We're actually doing a casual view from the car. That's it. It's too windy. It plugs my air. It does. Not the worst from your eyes. airbags, mate. Yeah. Put the air on my eyebrows. Right, so this is the, uh, the actual town. It has a different feel to it, like a proper surfer dude sort of place. Those clouds look angry up there, don't they? There's no rain or anything there. No, it's quite warm, about 17, a bit windy today. I'll show you over there. So we've come to the other end of the town and it actually runs out. If you look over there. That's the end of the road, you have to turn around and go back up the other way. We're now in Orzola, which is the other end of the island, and this is where the ferry comes in and out. We nearly went on it today, to be honest, but then when I looked at it coming in then, I'm pleased I didn't, because it's a bit rough out there. Uh, that takes you across to um, the island of La Grosse, Grossia, G-R-O-C-I-A. Comes out about five times a day, I don't think there's a lot, I'm just going to show you the island. That's where it takes you over there. Right, that concludes um, our couple of days driving around in that um, beautiful hybrid car. It's good, that wasn't it? Yeah, it was really good. It was very economical and I would thoroughly recommend it to <laughs> anybody. <laughs> I would, yeah. The amount of time it spends uh, actually driving around on electric that it's made itself. It has, yeah. Uh, I mean, if Eon ever get whiffed of it, then, you know, they're <laughs> going to be charging a lot of money. It really is well worth it. Obviously, you've no need to charge it because it was a hybrid. Yes. But uh, what a cracking thing. So if you've never been to Lanzarote, I hope this has just showed you a few little bits that you could do while you were here, rather than just laying around the pool for two weeks, uh, doing nothing. Um, I mean, I've been a load of times. Only got, this is your well, second time. This is the only second time I've been to Lanzarote, mm. and I thoroughly enjoyed both occasions. Yes. Um, so second time, obviously, just me and me. But the first time we came, there was four of us. And while we're, we're just you know, enjoying, uh, enjoying a, a libation now with... Um, Finished driving around with all that dust and uh, yes. hard work. We have to clear our throats. Yes. So if it's the first time you've ever watched this channel, we'd be really grateful if you could subscribe. Um, because obviously, you know, there's no point in doing these things unless anybody watches, really, is That's it? That's right, yeah. And um, obviously we've launched Paul on his YouTube career as well. Well, that's it. So hopefully, you know, we're going to go viral. Yes. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Catch you all soon. Bye-bye.